Couldn't think of a greeting that starts with a whistle sound, so I just said woof woof. I said way creatine. <laughs> I don't know why you guys watch this channel. Hi, welcome to the Beater Box Friday. It's me, SB Mitch. Hello. Hi, pals. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing half the time. Hey, welcome to, as I said before, Beater Box Friday. It's a thing. It's the whole gimmick of the channel. This box is from Soul Supremacy, just like every other box we get. Well, most of the boxes we get, but I have a membership. That's for the whole thing. What? What? Uh, there's a membership involved. You can't buy these boxes. I have a membership, so I buy the boxes and you are forced to watch me open them because life is cruel. This box was $700 plus $50 to ship it here to Chicago, Illinois for a grand total of $750. Is my mic on? Check. Yep. Cool, the mic's on, so that was a good thing to probably keep in the video. Clarence is a counter. It's gonna be keeping an eye on everything that comes out of this box, letting you know how much the actual perceived market value of the shoes that we're pulling out is, because you know what counters do. What am I talking about? Let's open the box. It's not very often we do two boxes in a week, but that's what happened today. This price range is usually really, really good because they'll usually sneak like an older pair or two in here. Well, there seems to be a lot of loose pairs in here. First shoe out is a US men's size 14. It's a React Element 55, if I could get myself situated here. I don't know what these are called. Uh, it's kind of two-toned. See the lateral side is like darker. The medial side is a little bit lighter. Uh, these are worn, but extremely good condition. You can, I don't know if you can pick it up, but there's no nipple loss on the forefoot or the heel. So these are worn very lightly. Um, very comfortable shoe from what I understand. Size 14 is a very hard size for me to move for market because I don't know why, but here's your first shoe. No box, size 14, React Element 55. Hey, if you wanna buy those, they're gonna be on the website today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that website is sbmitch.com. Check them out if you want. Next up, a Reebok, uh-oh. US Men's 11. This appears to be a dead stock pair of some kind of Iverson. It says Legacy on the inside of the tongue. I don't know if this is a question or if a legacy name has to do with anything. Looks like a pretty recent release. Uh, they're unworn. It's a very good colorway, I will say that. I don't know, whatever. I don't know anything about basketball, so. There you go, size US Men's 11, worn hair, no box. Some kind of Iverson release. It'll take a specific buyer for those. After that, we have a blazer of some sort. It says size nine, so my guess would this would be this is a women's size nine because this is there's no way this is a size nine in my hand right now. So this is probably a U.S. men's size seven and a half, but it is a women's blazer low. Um, colorway is like sand taupe, something like that. Very bland. All suede upper, leather swoosh, leather heel tab. I mean they're dead stock. You can't really complain. And size women's size nine. Seven and a half men's, ah, this is probably cheap. There you go, no box. It's pretty standard for a $700 box if you ask me right now. Here's a shoe I recognize. This is a size men's seven and a half. We have a Janoski. This is the uh, Cherry Blossom, uh, Stefan Janoski signature shoe. Uh, it's a Nike SB. Zoom Janoski Max, no not Max, just Zoom Janoski because it does have Zoom Air on the insole. These are worn, very good condition though. There's no heel drag. Yeah, looks to be in good shape. I mean, this is as close to a Vans old school as Nike will get. So it is a good skate shoe. Very cool colorway, if you ask me. And Janoski's are, they're just basic. This is a very cool colorway. It's an all canvas upper too. So there you go. Seven and a half men's Janoski Cherry Blossom. Okay, I don't know what this is. This is the box. Oh, is this one of those space hippies? Yep, there it is. Okay. Um, it's still in, I'm taking this stuff off. So this is, I think this is the Space Hippie 03, whatever. Oh yeah, it says 03 right there. Okay, good guess, holy cow. This is a size 12, US Men's 12. Space Hippie 03, I don't know what these are called. I don't know what their deal is, they are 
dead stock. They're all they're made from 100. Or apparently, they're made from a lot of recycled materials, which is very cool. And the box was supposed to be like eco-friendly, so the box is a little bit beat up, and there's still a little bit of a shipping label on it, which is weird. But it's a dead stock shoe. Can't really complain about that. Size 12. Space Hippie 03. I don't know what the colorway is called. The box is weird. All right, some shoes I recognize almost. Some Jordan brand. Size eight and a half. Air Jordan 9 Retro Low. They are worn. These are the uh, the bread snakeskin, whatever. That's a snakeskin around the mudguard type texture going on here. These are super lightly worn. There's a little bit of discoloration from wear on the outsole, but not much. There's no drag, no like stones or anything. So these would be really easy to clean. Very little toe box creasing. Full jump man and a size sticker in there. So that's all good. I doubt these have much value because it's not a great size and it's a low, so it's not really like OG, but it is a very good colorway if you're into that kind of thing. So there you go. Size eight and a half. Snakeskin lows. Snakeskin nine lows. This box is super weird. Still a good amount in here too. Uh, Jordan 5 Retro in a size US Men's 12. Another one. So these are worn. They're in good shape. There are lace locks and there are shoe trees. This is the, this is a Fire Red 5. The most recent release because you can see the big Nike on the back. You see the big Nike on the bottom and the Nike Air on the back. Just a classic colorway that was recently retroed and lace locks on one. So it's missing one lace lock. That's annoying. Very good quality release though, uh, if you ask me. Got a 3M tongue. Cages aren't discolored. Outsole's in pretty decent shape. Just a little bit of discoloration from wear. Not much drag or anything. A little bit of creasing on the toe box. Um, so yeah, there you go. OG colorway. A lot of people like fives and these things are tanks. They feel heavy, so size 12. Fire Red Fives from 2020? 2019, I don't remember. Time flies when you get older, kids. Let's see. <sighs> Size 13, Air Foam 13. Size US Men's 13, Air Foam Posit 1 Double X. These are worn, good shape. These are the Royal Foam Posit. Uh, I think these are the Retro from pretty recently, so really good shape. Outsole is in very good shape, actually. Looks like the ins uh, insole wear is pretty minimum. It has half a swoosh and it says R. So these are pirate shoes, apparently. Size 13 on a foam posit is actually really good. The thing that sucks about these is the retail is so high and aftermarket is just not that great for them. So pretty cool colorway if you ask me though. Uh, Royal foam posits in a size US Men's 13 with the original box. And the box is not absolutely destroyed. The lid is ripped, but the box is actually in okay shape. Two more, we got a Jordan something. Air Jordan 14 Retro in a size US Men's 8.5. I can tell by the box what this is. They're worn, they're in good shape though. These are the uh, red Ferraris that came out like a year or two ago. I don't know if they're called Ferraris. I just know they're called red basically. A very, very cool colorway if you ask me. I'm not huge into red shoes, but these have enough other colors within them that it makes it pretty aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, all suede upper, suede toe box. This paint is like a little like shimmery, which is cool. The outsole has very little wear. So these will clean up really nicely. Uh, there is some insole wear, but the full jump man and it says the size 8.5 sticker is still in there. And there are shoe trees. So there you go. Very good shoe, not a great size, but a very good shoe, size eight and a half. Jordan 14. We got one more in here. It's a red Nike box. Nope, it says J11 Low University size 12. So that means this is probably a replacement box. That is true. So these appear to be worn. Really great shape though. Size 12, cool. Size 12, University Blue, Carolina Blue, Jordan 11 Retro Low. Uh, these came out in like 2017 or 16, I think, something like that, pretty recently. Um, outsole has some wear and a little bit of discoloration. Not much heel drag on the problem areas of an 11, which is good. Um, doesn't seem to be like any gouges or weird markings on the midsole. And it's just like, it's a Carolina blue Jordan and those always have some kind of value. Full jump man on the insole. These are in good shape, they just need a quick cleanup. So that's your last shoe out, a size 12, a very good size of a UNC 11 low. Cool. And that is a $700 sold from Beater box. I mean, this is pretty standard $700 stuff we got here. Let's take a look at the numbers and see what's going on. This 
seems more like a quantity over quality box, but I think there's some pretty decent value. I mean, as far as comparables for this box, it's a pretty standard $700 box. There's probably a pretty a decent amount of profit to be made on this, but it's not like anything crazy, but still solid. Hey, if you wanna buy any of these shoes, they'll be available on my website today at six o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That website is sbmitch.com. And before that happens, all the worn pairs are gonna be cleaned up and disinfected with the Rejuvenator family of products. If you wanna save 10% on your next Rejuvenator order, be sure to use my code SBMitch10 at checkout to save 10% off the entire thing. Cause saving money rules, especially when it comes to sneakers because we all have a spending problem. Hey, I hope you have a really good weekend. We'll see you next week for some kind of other video, probably a beater box, maybe a review. I don't really know. Till then, no wait, there will be a box recap on Monday. So we'll see you then. Till then, take care of each other. Remember to keep sneakers fun because they're supposed to be fun. Bye.